I wear our nation's Medal of Honor. But the medal doesn't belong to me. Uh, my, my name's on this, my name's on the back of it, but it is a very uncomfortable place for me to be because it, you know, I'm just doing my job that day. War doesn't really change much. It is still humans going up against humans. War is just is an absolute horrible thing. We have different means of conducting war. Technology advances, so we are closer to war or more removed from it. The essence of war really doesn't change. The bond between soldiers, that shared experience that they go through, the shared hardships they endure. That has not changed throughout centuries. That's what's represented on these battlefields, a brotherhood. The very ground underneath their feet. That ground means something very deep to each soldier that is being here and pressing the fight forward. Conviction is knowing what you believe in and then doing it. George Maynard was on the front line of the Union advance across the field. About the time that they started expending all of their ammunition, they headed back towards their lines. And he sees that his closest friend isn't there with him. Now anyone would have a choice to make at that moment. What do I do? I can stay here. I'm safe here. Taken upon his own initiative, he determines, I'm going to go find my friend in the middle of the battlefield, an active battlefield. There's a high probability of that action that he would not survive what he's getting ready to do. George Maynard finds his friend out in the battlefield. Chaos going on all around him, picks him up, takes him back across the field of battle into the Union Field Hospital so his friend can be treated. This is what earns George the Medal of Honor that day. I don't know what the exact relationship between George Maynard and his friend would have been. The bond I do know of is the bond between soldiers. The day was March 2002, Eastern Afghanistan. The mission that day was a reconnaissance mission on top of a mountain. When we landed on top of the mountain, we received almost immediately a rocket-propelled grenade. The pilot still had power, lifted it off, and started to fly away. One of my teammates fell out of the helicopter. I get some information that my teammate is alive. So my question to me then becomes, what am I going to do about it? So the sure thing to do when I'm sorting through that decision is I can wait another three to four hours, about another 40 U.S. Army Rangers are going to come. The flip side of that is I can go now. We're certainly going up against superior numbers. And although there's, there's a lot going on, like the radio is full of people talking and just so much chaos going on, this one thought kept coming back to me in my mind, and it was the opening line to the Boy Scout Oath. And it is, on my honor, I will do my best to do my duty. On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty. On my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty. But the third time, I remember very clearly, I remember sitting upright inside the aircraft going, staring out the back of the ramp, going, I'm going. I looked at my guys before we're gonna go do this and we take this massive problem that's in front of us and just for a moment, 
just going to look each other in the eye and we're just going to say, yeah, we can do this. Hindsight is always 2020. We lost seven Americans there that day. Um, the, the magnitude of the loss there, looking across the families, it's just insurmountable. But to go back after a fallen teammate, it's the right thing to do. The promise I made to him, the promise we all made to each other, that is a heavy weight and I'm not going to break my word to you. And so we went to make it right. So I know exactly what George Maynard was going through. I wasn't there, uh, wasn't with him obviously, but I know exactly what he was going through. To receive the medal, knowing everything that was done up there, it is quite an uncomfortable place to be. Yeah, absolutely love those guys, every single one of them. Walking here, being here today, this ground, it is hallowed. Those battlefields across the globe that Americans have shed our blood on, all hallowed ground. It's my responsibility, it's your responsibility to remember what's been given for us and to be worthy of what that sacrifice was. <laughs>